Okay, so hi! Today, I'll be talking about parabolas. So, let us start first with identifying the standard equation of a parabola. So, if you have noticed, there are actually four ways on how you're going to graph a parabola. It's either it goes up, it goes down, it opens to the right, or opens to the left. So, let us first begin with the equation quantity x minus h squared equals 4p times y minus k with the vertex at point hk. So, the focus on this type of equation is at hk plus p, wherein you have to remember that p is the distance between the vertex and the focus or from the focus to the directrix because they are just the same. So, the parabola, it opens upward if p is greater than 0 and opens downward if p is less than 0. And the second type standard of equation for the parabola is the quantity y minus k squared equals 4p times quantity x minus h, with still the vertex at hk. However, the focus is now changed and it becomes h plus p and k. So the parabola opens to the right if p is greater than 0 and opens to the left if p is less than 0. So to give you a summary of these equations, so I have here a table. So the equation having you have quantity x minus h squared equals 4p times y minus k. The vertex is at hk. The focus is at hk plus p. The directrix is at y equals k minus p with the description which is the axis of symmetry is always parallel to the y-axis. And the concavity, it's an open upward when p is greater than 0 and downward when p is less than 0. And the second one is the quantity y minus k squared equals 4p times x minus h with the vertex at hk and focus at x plus pk with the directrix at x equals h minus p. And the axis of symmetry is always parallel to the x axis. So it opens to the right when p is greater than 0 and opens to the left when p is less than 0. So to give you a further understanding of the of these equations, let us now move to example number 1. So on our example number 1, you're going to find the equation of the parabola with vertex at 0, 0 and focus at 0, negative 5. So the first thing that you should do is you're going to plot first your points so that it will be easier for you to identify if our parabola opens upward, downward, sideward, right? So we first plot the vertex. 0, 0 is actually at the origin and 0, negative 5 lies on the negative y-axis. So if you have noticed, um, you already identify the location of your vertex and the focus. So the vertex at 0, 0 gives you the idea that h is equals to 0 and k is equals to 0. Now, remember that p is the distance between the vertex and the focus. So actually, you can use the distance formula or you can just eventually count the grids. So if you try to count, you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So the distance is still 5. So your p is equivalent to 5. Now you will have to analyze that the focus lies below the vertex. So since the focus lies below the vertex, then therefore our parabola opens downward, which means our p is indeed negative. So since p is negative, now we can substitute these values to our equation. The equation quantity x minus h squared equals 4p times y minus k. So substituting the values of h, k, and p. And there you go. You have an equation x squared equals negative 20y. Okay. Next, second example. So find the equation of the parabola with vertex at 1, negative 3 and focus at 1, 1. So same thing we'll have to plot first our points so you have here you have okay one negative three and one one so 
with the vertex at 1, negative 3, that gives you the idea that h is 1 and k is negative 3. So, again, p is the distance between the vertex and the focus. If you try to count the grids, you'll have 1, 2, 3, 4. If you use the distance formula, you still have the same answer, which is 4. So, since the focus this time lies above the vertex, then the parabola opens upward. So, therefore, our P is positive. Substituting all the values of H, K, and P, you will have the equation. Quantity X minus 1 squared equals 16 times quantity Y plus 3. Okay? You have any questions for, for example, 1 and 2? Okay, next we'll proceed to example number 3. Find the equation of the parabola with vertex at 2, negative 1 and focus at negative 1, negative 1. So, we plot again our, our points. There you have 2, negative 1 lies on the 4th quadrant and negative 1, negative 1 lies on the 3rd quadrant. So, with the vertex at 2, negative 1, your h is now equal to 2 and your k is negative 1. So, again, p is the distance between the vertex and the focus. So, if you try to count, you have 1, 2, 3. So, the distance is in the 3. Using the distance formula, you will also have the same answer, which is 3. So, since the focus lies to the left of the vertex, so our parabola opens on the left side. So, in that case, our P is negative. Alright, so substituting again all the values of H, K, and P, you will have the equation quantity Y plus 1 squared equals negative 12 times X minus 2. Fourth example, find the equation of the parabola with vertex at negative 1, 2 and focus at 1, 2. We'll plot our points. So negative 1, 2 is at quadrant 2 and 1, 2 is at first quadrant. So our vertex then is at negative 1, 2 with h equals negative 1 and k is equals to 2. And again, P is the distance between the vertex and the focus. So try to count the grids. You have 1, 2. Our distance is 2. Using the distance formula, you will still have the same answer, which is equivalent to 2. So since the focus now lies to the right of the vertex, so the parabola opens on the right side, which means RP is positive. Okay, so substituting the values of H, K, and P, you will then have the equation of quantity Y minus K squared equals 4, um, 4P times X minus H. So you will have Y minus 2 squared equals 8 times quantity X plus 1. Alright, example number 5. Reduce the equation of the parabola y squared minus 6y minus 8x plus 1 equals 0 to standard form. Now this time, you are provided with the equation and you will have to identify the standard form. Wherein, you will see the, ver the vertex and the p and also um, the, the, the directrix. Okay, So, how are we going to do this? So to do this, we will have to, okay, we will have to transfer our x values and the constant on the other side, on the left side rather. So, afterwards, since you will have y squared minus 6y, we will have to transform it into square binomial. Which means to do that, we will have to use the completing the square. So, always remember that the completing the square is, fa is found through um, dividing your linear term by 2 and squaring it. Which means, negative 6 divided by 2 is negative 3. Negative 3 squared is positive 9. And always remember, since it is an equation, whatever you add on the right side will also be the same thing that you will add on the left side. 
So, you will then have y squared minus 6y plus 9 equals 8x minus 1 plus 9. Now, y squared minus 6y plus 9 is a perfect square, which is equivalent to quantity y minus 3 squared. And negative 1 plus 9 is positive 8. So, you will have um, 8x plus 8. So, next is we are going to rewrite the equation in the standard form. So, how are we going to write the equation in the standard form? We have to... Okay. Okay, our standard form is at quantity y minus k squared equals 4p times x minus h. Which then, you will have y minus 3 squared equals... Okay, so we, we, we factor out 8x plus 8 by... Um, factoring it by 8. So, your, now, your equation now becomes quantity y minus 3 squared equals 8 times x plus 1. Now, what is the value of our p? So, our value of our p is found by equating 8 to 4p. So, 8 is equals to 4p. Therefore, our p is equals to 2. With this, it is now easier for us to identify our vertex since our vertex is as, is at hk. So our h here, so since it's positive 1, it's the opposite sign. So our, our h is negative 1 here. Negative 3, it becomes 3. So hk, negative 1, 3. Our focus at h plus pk, so our h is negative 1. Our p is positive 2, so negative 1 plus 2 is 1. And our k, which is 3. So our focus is at 1, 3. Our directrix is at x equals h minus p. So our h is negative 1. Our p is 2, so negative 1 minus 2 is negative 3. So, the directrix here is now x equals negative 3. Well, our axis of symmetry is at y equals 3. Okay. I hope it's, everything is clear with how to find the vertex, the focus, directrix, and the axis of symmetry. Now, let's proceed to example number 6. So, in an equation... Quantity y plus 3 squared equals 4 times x plus 1. Find the vertex, focus, and the directrix. And sketch the graph of the parabola. So from here, it is very easy for us to identify the vertex because it is already in its standard form. So our vertex is at hk. So h, so we have our vertex is negative 1. And negative 3. Okay. So there you have your vertex. The parabola. Okay. Does it open? The parabola is horizontal. Why do you think it's horizontal? Because you have y squared. No? So you have to observe the equation here. So, if this is x plus 3 squared equals 4 times y plus 1, then the parabola is vertical. But since this is y, so it, the parabola is indeed horizontal. And it opens okay, to the right because our p is positive, which is 4. Alright. So, next is we're going to find p. So, again to do this. You equate 4p equals 4, which means our p is equals to 1. In that case, our focus is then at 0, negative 3. Okay? Because to find the focus, you have h plus p k. So our h is negative 1. Our p is positive 1. So, negative 1 plus 1 is 0, and our k, which is negative 3. Okay. And our directrix is at 
x equals negative 2. Because to find the directrix, you have h minus p. h minus p. So our h is negative 1 minus p, which is 1. So negative 1 minus 1 is negative 2. Okay. So to graph, this is now your graph of the equation quantity y plus 3 squared equals 4 times quantity x plus 1. So next example, find the standard form of the equation of the parabola given that the focus is at 2, 4 and the directrix is at x equals negative 4. So, the blank is midway between the blank and the blank. So, try to observe the given um, coordinates. You were given with the focus and the directrix, which means the vertex is midway between the focus and the directrix. So, the vertex is at negative 1, 4. Negative 1, 4. How are you going to find the negative 1, 4? So, you can actually use this point here and this point and you use the midpoint formula. Okay. So, the directrix is then equals to... Uh, the directrix is vertical, so the parabola must be horizontal. So, and since the focus is always inside the parabola, it must open to the right. So, the equation, quantity y minus k squared equals 4p times x minus h. Our p here is 3. 3. So, y3, if you try to use the counting method of doing it, as with the previous examples, we have 1, 2, 3. Or you can use a distance formula to, to, to find the, the p, because p is, again, the distance between the vertex and the focus, or between the vertex and the directrix. So, since it opens to the right, so our p is, indeed, positive. So, 4 times 3 equals 12. So you now here have the value for 4p. Since you have the value for h and k, you substitute all of it and you will have the equation y. Okay, so it's n n um, 4 and negative 1. So negative times negative becomes positive and 12 here. Okay, next example number 8. Find the standard form of the equation of the parabola given that the vertex is 2, negative 3 and focus is 2, negative 5. So this is just another example um, from the previous, no? So we actually have the same um, type of example. It's just have varied um, coordinates. So we first plot 2, negative 3 and 2, negative 5. So, the focus lies below the vertex, which means our parabola opens downward, right? Okay. So, the, the, the position of a parabola is vertical and it opens downward. So, the equation, quantity x minus h squared equals 4p times y minus k. So, our p here is equals to 2. How to find the 2? Again, you use the distance formula or you can just count the grids. So, 1, 2. So, the distance there is 2. Since it opens downward, so our p is negative, right? Since it's open downward. So, um, substituting all the values of our vertex h, which is 2, and k, which is negative 3. So you have quantity x minus 2 squared equals negative 8 times y plus 3. 
So the vertex is midway between the focus and the directrix. So the directrix for this parabola is y equals negative 1. So it is located here. There is here your directrix. Okay, so that's it. I hope you understand our examples and see you on our next tutorial.